me, Lee, and today I am reviewing the Huon 640p drawing tablet. So let me just intro this review with a little bit of background on my digital experience so far. So I have almost zero experience drawing digitally. I have an iPad that I draw on very casually, like only things that I put on top of my videos. I haven't really explored it that much and in art school I use a drawing tablet connected to a computer like maybe twice. So just a heads up, this is a review by a complete digital art newbie, me. So this tablet runs about $50, which is a pretty good price for a drawing tablet as far as I know. I'm gonna do this more as a review for beginner artists, someone who wants to start out, like myself, um, drawing digitally and yeah. So the tablet comes in a box. So it comes with a thank you card and a little disc shaped piece of paper that gives you the downloadable links for the program. Um, the tablet, a glove, some extra nibs as a gift and then a pen stand with more nibs in it. I think there's about eight nibs in there. The pen, a little manual on what you get and how to set up the driver, and then a connecting cord. I'm not a great um, manual reader, so I didn't really know the features before I went in. The driver was super easy to download. Just had to download it, restart my computer, and voila, I plugged my tablet in and it started working. That was really easy. I had no idea what to expect, honestly. You're watching my first ever digital type of drawing painting thing. I have an ancient version of Photoshop that I use and the tablet works great with it. I know the tablet works for Windows and for Mac. So if you have either, you can get this tablet. There are six buttons on the side that are really convenient. I obviously didn't read the manual, like I said, so I figured it out as I went. I found that the buttons were just shortcuts to things you would use regularly, like the changing the size of your brush or undo, redo, things like that, which I found super helpful once I figured it out. So all in all, I found this tablet to be super user-friendly for someone who has next to zero experience with tablets and digital art. Um, I thought the design was super sleek and I love the matte finish on it. It felt good to draw on. I didn't find that I had to spend time getting used to holding the pen. I immediately felt like I could hold it and have zero problems drawing with it. And the matte texture on the tablet is also very nice for drawing. I really have nothing negative to say. I haven't found any faults in it for me personally. Um, I feel like the price point is really good. I felt like the sensitivity was great and there are a lot of other features for me to explore. So after this video, I want to do some more drawing with the tablet and I'll do another speed paint and maybe some more thoughts on the tablet for you guys. So I feel like this would be a good first tablet if you're interested in getting into digital art. I've, I can fit it pretty much anywhere. I'm storing it with all my sketchbooks right now. So it's really easy to store if you don't want it out all the time. So yeah, if you're interested in getting started with a drawing tablet, I think this is a good one. I hope you guys liked the review and found it helpful. I'm gonna leave a link to this tablet on Amazon and also the official website in the description. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. I also plan to make a follow-up speed paint video after I've tried the product a little bit more and I'll give you guys a little follow-up review on it as well. So thank you for watching. Yep, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you for sending me this tablet. It, it was awesome to try and I'm so I'm so excited to keep using it. I'll see you guys later. Um I'll see ya. Bye.